So traditionally, semester upon semester for the past several years, this course, again a hard course, had a failure rate of about 40 to 41 percent every semester. With this blended class late last year, the failure rate fell to 9 percent. So the results can be extremely, extremely good. Now, before we go uh, you know, uh, too far into this, um, I'd like to spend some time discussing some key ideas. What are some key ideas that makes all of this work? One idea is active learning. The idea here is rather than have students walk into class, watch lectures, we replace this with what we call lessons. Lessons are interleaved sequences of videos and interactive exercises. So a student might watch a five, seven minute video and follow that with an interactive exercise. Think of this as the ultimate Socratization of education. You teach by asking questions. And this is a form of learning called active learning and really uh, promoted by a very early paper uh, in 1972 by Craig and Lockhart, where they said and discovered that learning and retention really relate strongly to the depth of mental processing. Students learn much better when they are interacting with the material. The second idea is self-pacing. Now, when I went to a lecture hall, and you were like me, by the fifth minute, I would lose the professor. I wasn't all that smart, and I would be scrambling, taking notes, and then I would lose the lecture for the rest of the, rest of the hour. Instead, wouldn't it be nice with online technologies, we offer videos and interactive uh, engagements to students. They can hit the pause button. They can rewind the professor. Heck, they can even mute the professor. So this form of self-pacing can be very helpful to learning. The third idea that we have is instant feedback. With instant feedback, the computer grades exercises. I mean, how else do you teach 150,000 students? Your computer is grading all the exercises. And we've all submitted homeworks, and uh, your grades come back two weeks later. You've forgotten all about it. So with instant feedback, students can try to apply answers. If they get it wrong, they can get instant feedback. They can try it again and try it again. And this really becomes much more engaging. They get the instant feedback. And this little green check mark that you see here is becoming somewhat of a cult symbol at edX. The learners are telling us that they go to bed at night dreaming of the green check mark. For him and he must keep trying until the right answer is found. In the meantime, this counter keeps account of all his tries. The device also has this unique special feature that by moving this lever here, we can change it into a machine for immediately scored testing. 